not overhit with over pace. That's a great ball. Only someone has got to gamble across the line. And it's a simple tap-in. What a good ball. Typical cold kick. Not typical of the likes of Solanke and Co. We would normally be gratefully, greedily gobbling those up. Solanke has another go that time, though, and does get it on target. Pretty gentle in the first save of the night. For Good bit of possession from us. Here's Carl Scott. To Solanke. He's all on his own at the moment over there. But he's still making a good fist of this run. Pressure so far from Chelsea, but not too much for Thomas to do yet. Good strength there from Owen Jones. And he's off and running. And he's got Fallon in front of him. And to his left is Carl Kopp. Yeah, disappointing shot in the end, but which way he's going to turn next. Cold kick. Nice ball, Solanke. And no flag. Good chance. It's a great chance, Ben, isn't it? A good run in behind. It's, it's going to bear, bear the fruits, I think, soon. We, we are beginning to open up gaps, Ben, and I don't think they've got the mental strength to keep every single gap closed. Rosonda. Well, that was ambitious, and it took a hell of a deflection on the way through. Yeah, and thankfully he's gone out for a corner, but it's into the game, and he's come 35 yards to have a touch, Ben. It's been good pressure by us, but uh, again, at the moment, no goals. Didn't have much to do against Huddersfield. But, uh, an error at the back did allow the Terriers one goal. He had a brilliant first half at Leeds, and then his second half again with a red card inside a minute. Here's Carl Scott for Chelsea, and there's just a little bit of space for Abraham, who spins and shoots and scores. The goals never move. I'll tell you what, what a goal he's scored here. I mean, well created as well. Let's give some credit to the rest of the lads for passing the ball about like they have been in this opening 13, 14 minutes. But it's all about the goal scorer. I mean, absolutely fantastic little turn. Jay does really well, finds Carl, and then into Tammy's feet. That's what I said to you earlier, Ben, about standing still. You know, before he could have done that, this time he finds the space because everybody leaves him. Stands there on his own, little turn, super little turn, that, and a spin, and a pop it in the bottom corner. As I said before, you know, sometimes you don't have to run. Sometimes you just stand still. And the players will find you. They're good enough. They're great passers. 20 minutes played. Danger here. Swansea's corner. Not a good one. You could hear the groans from here. Kyle Scott trying to flip it over his head and start Charlie Musonda off on a counter. It's a poor corner there, Bez, then, isn't it? As well, really didn't threaten the shot, Mike. Dan James with it. Bradley Collins with the save. No, Bradley won't mind that. It comes towards Solanke, little flick. Colquitt will get another bite here. Well, that's low and dangerous. Could have gone anywhere. Tammy Abraham nearly there, and credit to Lewis Thomas, who came out amongst the Passing the ball around, whether they got the definitive finish or not, we'll have to wait and see, but it does leave them open at the back, of course. Here we go. Abraham cuts it back. He missed out Solanke, but not Kyle Scott. That's a good save. Tammy Abraham. I'd have thought he's offside. Indeed, he is. The flag is up. I'm surprised that just before that, to be honest, Ben, that Tommy didn't uh, score, to be honest. He's in a great position in behind. Lovely little ball around the corner. Here he is. He's on the point of the six-yard box. I think that's worth a shot from there. However, tries to put it back into the space for Carl to come on to, and that leaves him in an offside position, which is unfortunate when the goalkeeper parries. But, um, again, nice and bright by us going forward. Just looking so good in an attacking area. Fallon. Urged forward by his bench. Go on, Stevie, they shout, and he does run and run and run. And the pass was on to Jones. Kopp might have shot himself. Now he's laid it off again. Now he's got it back again. Carl Kopp makes a bit of room and has the shot. That might have even hit his own man. And the follow-up is drilled in by James and gathered up. The fellow's not going to be attacking me anymore. What you don't know is that Casey Palmer's got all sorts of tricks too. Well, Another similar Chelsea free kick. Similar position from one we saw, saw earlier. It's a little bit. Heavier this time with the pace and higher, but straight into the gloves of Thomas. Yeah, he's, has he gone for goal? He come out all far in on the in the second half. Still time for it to get better. Here's Casey Palmer. Shoot. It's 
Scott into Palmer. It was tight, but Carl Scott's come out. The ball! Sliced it. Cut across the ball, doesn't get the... Uh... Minute ...at the end of the half, and suddenly a game that was 1-0, and looking <laughs> evenly poised, uh, just in Chelsea's favour, but fairly evenly poised, suddenly became 3-0 at half-time, and West Ham were done for. Here is Solanke. Didn't have too many sniffs of goal tonight. Good against him finding the net, though, in the second half, especially now Abraham's gone one further ahead. It's Palmer. Kept his feet well, and Scott and Tammy Abraham, great chance. It's two. 25 for Tammy Abraham, two for Chelsea, right on half time. They got that one right, Ben, did they? Didn't he strike this well again? We saw the opportunity for Carl Scott a few moments ago, but Tammy, after good work by Casey Palmer. It's the same goal. He's just struck it so well. At, Carl Scott, yeah, to Tammy Abraham, yeah, back of the good net. Good little bit of build up. Casey does well, Carl with a little reverse pass, and there's Tammy. Well, some would say the goalkeeper should do better, Ben, when you see that from behind, but there's immense power in this strike, and he really has buried this with a plomb. Lovely finish, great time, of course, to score. Going into the half-time break at 2-0. Down in their last round, it was only last week, at Llanethli. Well said. Apologies for if I've got that one wrong. Uh, they were one down, but that was Doncaster, and it was one down. They're two down to Chelsea here, and Tammy Abraham's on a mission and on a hat-trick. And he's already rolled one in towards Don Solanke there. Neatly dealt with by Dylan Thomas in midfield, but given away. Chance here for Solanke, maybe it is. Oh, what a start. What a start, 25 seconds. And Swansea, well, I think that's game over. Well, I did think that Don might have to get involved in this game in one way or another, especially because Tammy has got a couple. And do you know what? He stayed on his feet really well here. Great first ball in by Jada Silva towards Tammy, who, who probably was stumbling and I don't know if he meant the pass, but he's, he's passed it into the path of, of Dom, who's just done the rest. He's got his body in the right position, but it's a little flick over the keeper. Keeper goes down early, a little bit too easy for him. Let me see the ball in from Jay, stumbled by Tammy, but it actually goes into the right place. And Dom, actually Dom's quite there a to clever finish. finish, that. Carl Scott. Swansea can't get near it at the moment. Possession there. It's been fairly dispiriting. They'll have had a bit of belief that even 2 0 down to a good side. Had a sniff. Still played plenty of good football in that first half. See if they can get something here. Owen Jones is through. And that's an excellent stop from Bradley Collins. And the clean sheet is maintained. It's a big answer, isn't it, for Swansea if they're going to get back into the game now? That's Nice flick, and Jones is onside. Neither Swansea feel they have nothing to lose, or Chelsea have switched off a bit, but certainly not Bradley Collins. Swansea suddenly pouring forward at every opportunity, and Chelsea's keeper has pulled off a top save there. And Tamori in the middle of all of that. Was, uh, that's a thunderous challenge, that is. But Tamori in, in the middle of all of that slipped, and I think that's why they managed to get in. But again, Bradley does well, palms it away. Is Cop now Thomas? And it's still a three goal lead, but only just Fallon now. And Collins couldn't quite keep hold of that one, and away it goes. And I just wonder if maybe a little bit of extra midfield still might be coming from the bench. Jay De Silva now, almost progressive. Generally, so productive as well. Olorena. Oh, it's a low one, and it has found a blue shirt. Dom Solanke coming in. Whether it was to keep the ball. Charlie Colkin's left foot has been absolute peach today. Hasn't it? Two or three of those he's hit. There's Abraham on a mazy run. And still going, Tammy Abraham. Chance for Casey Palmer, little faint, and still Palmer sliced it wide, hammered it. He's worked hard to find the space, hasn't he? Maybe he went down a little bit too early, but he's aware of that. That's good, good uh, striker play. Has he kept it in? He has! Hat-trick Tammy Abraham! And Chelsea are 4-0 up, and no doubt about it now, the North East beckons. That's brilliant.
Absolutely brilliant. Jay De Silva, we, uh, we've mentioned the fullbacks all this second half, Ben, but they've been able to play a lot higher up the park, get themselves into good position. Essentially, wingers or wing backs. Jay's done really well, he's worked hard there, but Tammy realizes that as well that Jay's quick and he's going to get there. So he's belted into that six yard box, pulls off the centre back who, who's out of position. Tammy gets in front of him. It's a simple finish in the end, but all the work done by Jay De Silva. Excellent play. Yet again, the left back involved in a goal. Tired, you know, we've had good possession of the ball. I wonder if they're getting a little bit tired as this game goes on. And that sometimes could be mental tiredness too. 4 0 down. Here's Palmer. He's kept his balance brilliantly. Casey Palmer still going. Oh, he scored. And he's deserved that. It's another really good Casey Palmer goal. And Chelsea have five. This is a proper stuffing now. Yeah, and it's a good finish, this. This is a good, good finish. He's slightly off balance, isn't he? He does keep his balance well. There's a heavy challenge first comes in. Then he just keeps his balance well. A little step over and just slows his mind down. As he strikes the ball, he slows his brain down. He doesn't want to power this and waste it. Just slows his mind down, just side foots it with a good bit of pace. Goalkeeper can't quite keep it out. This is a good individual goal from Casey Palmer. Different to the ones we've seen of late from him, but still capable from that sort of distance. Fabulous. It's half-time at Bramall Lane, and Tottenham are one up on Sheffield United. Hands up who doesn't fancy beating Liverpool in the semi and Tottenham in the final. I don't think it really gets any better than that for Chelsea fans right now. More chance here for Owen Jones. He's had a few tonight. Can he take one? It's a great chance. Oh, dear. Tried to take the net off. What a waste. I think he saved this. I think bad. 5 0 at the weekend for the youth team, a very different youth team. 5 0 here. 1 1 draw before that. 6 2 against Huddersfield in the Cup. The game before that was actually just before Christmas. That was West Ham and it was 5 2 that night. So this will be the. Lucky number five. This is the fourth game in the last five that the youth team has scored five times. That's remarkable, and it might get better. Dom Solanke, it's six, it has got better. Well, he just doesn't miss, does he? I mean, it's a great run in behind it, good link-up play. The passing was good yet again. What can we say, Ben? I mean, absolutely brilliant, super to watch. And you must just think, as a Swansea player, you must just think, you know, every time they come forward, we're in trouble. Lovely little turn and reverse pass by Charlie Masonda. And there he is again, Dom Solanke running off, off the line, into space, on the angle. And he's got one place to put the ball for me here. And he just puts it in there. Absolutely perfect finish. Point. There has to be a bad night in the Youth Cup, whether it's a sloppy performance or a, a bad decision or just a tight one that goes the wrong way or a penalty shoot out, I don't know. But they seem unstoppable at the moment, this youth team. Six unanswered goals here tonight, including a Tammy Abraham hat-trick. Chelsea's Youth Cup defence remains strong into the last eight. Trip to the North East is the prize. Two first-half goals from Tammy Abraham. From Dom Solanke, Casey Palmer and the rest. Let's have a little...